for uh, stopping by the channel. As you know, my name's Chuck, and uh, first off, I appreciate your time. And uh, if you've been watching my channel over the years, you know I'm a home hobbyist, uh, tool nut, and always trying to learn and uh, really uh, have a thing for tools and tooling. The other day I was watching uh, Jason Fireball Tools, and he showed a measuring device. And it was uh, measuring the location of two, like center line to center line on two holes. And the device he showed, he showed it about, you know, about that quick. And so I sat there and I freeze framed and freeze framed and looked at it. And I'd uh, never seen it before. Uh, of all the different videos I watch and reading and whatever, uh, I've never seen it. And what it's basically called is a center gauge attachment or a center line gauge for calipers. Basically, you have a tapered uh, nose on those two parts that fit into the hole, self-center themselves, and you read your dial indicator or your, your uh, indicator here. Your caliper, excuse me. Um, I'm going to show you real quick how to use it. Um, the and I'll explain uh, if, if I may. I may forget to explain, so I'm going to say it right now. Is that Minitoyo actually sells a unit like this, and it has an offset button because you do need to offset for the diameter that's on the caliper. Um, so they automatically have it where instead of putting a zero button, you're hitting an offset button to uh, create the correct offset. Um, real quick, I'll just tell you, um, Minitoyo sells the, also sells these attachments that you can put onto your caliper. Um, they're called a center gauge attachment, part number 050018. Uh, they sell for seventy dollars. Um, searching a little bit more, um, found on uh, eBay, um, center line gauge set, um, uh, twenty eight dollars. Um, funny, you know, I I was pretty excited when I saw that on uh, Jason's channel. Uh, started trying to do my homework and then set out to go ahead and make my own. Um, and I called my good friend Carl and. Uh, said, hey, I'm going to send you a photo. And I sent him a photo of uh, this. And he goes, oh, I have that. <laughs> and he had ended up, uh, I think he, he showed me the set that he had. And they were very similar to the $28 set. Uh, they were definitely the paperwork. You can say they were import. But um, pretty simple build. Um, I actually 3D printed some. And the slot was, I was having a hard time getting the slot correct. And I said, heck, just go out and machine a couple. So these are out of 5 8 uh, aluminum. And uh, let me set it up and uh, we'll uh, show you how it works. Well, for starters, real quick, I uh, just wanted to discuss how I made the pins. Basically a 6-inch piece of uh, 5 8 aluminum rod. Uh, put it in the uh, lathe and uh, put in the lathe. Turn the points on the two pieces, then uh, put it in the mill and went ahead and cut the slots. And then after I had cut the slots, I put it on this pallet here. Pallet has uh, dowels for alignment. And the bottom of this unit is, can set right in the vise. You can see the step there. And uh, basically use the parallel here to line up the um, slot so it was parallel with the pallet and uh, went ahead and did the uh, set screws. Uh, here's a quick video of the pallet.
Okay, we're back from that, so I thought I'd share that with you. Whoop, hit the camera, of course. It's always, uh, always fun to uh, play with the toys. Okay, I have a block here. It's got two pins in it, a 499 and a uh, 500. And if I come in here with the calipers, I'm measuring uh, 1 inch 750. Now, center to center would be 1 inch 750 less one pin. So it would be 1.250 would be my center to center. So pull the pins. And if I come in with this unit here, self-center on the holes. Whoop. Make sure I get a good reading. So I have six, six, 0 0.6205 enter and then 0 0.630 plus 1.250. Now you're saying, ah, Charlie, wait a minute, where did that 630 come in that you just added? Well, just like the pins where you have to subtract one pin to get center to center, you have the same thing here. Sorry for hitting the camera there. But at zero, 0, I am still one full pin out. So the pin is 625, but in measuring a fixture that I know a known distance, I've done the math and 630 is the constant that I need to add for the 625 pin. So it works real, real simple to uh, line up a couple set of holes, pull it out, and there it is again, 620.5. So I thought I'd share this with you. I think it's, uh, it's a simple build to uh, have in your arsenal. You, could, uh, you don't have to keep them on your calipers. If you have a sec second set of calipers, yeah, you could leave them on all the time. I'm going to write 630 on the side of this if I leave it uh, together. If you don't leave it together, then each time that you would mount them, you would have to have a known distance and, uh, and set it. Now you can use this with a regular uh, ven ven dial indicator rather than a uh, the uh, digital, but there you're going to have to just read the, uh, this is much simpler to read of course. So with that said, um, thank you for stopping by the channel. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, happy uh, for comments, good and bad. Always uh, learn from comments. And uh, you can always share the video. Again, thanks for your time, and we'll see you on the next one.